one. Good afternoon. I'm Ernie Hartong, CEO of ARCSI, the Residential Cleaning Association, soon to be ARCSI, a division of ISSA. And uh, welcome you all to our presentation today. Um, usually we've used this time frame the last several years to talk about the state of the industry. I will tell you that the state of the industry is great. Uh, consumers are looking more to hire professional cleaning technicians, uh, not just as a luxury. They don't view it that way anymore. They're looking at it as cleaning for health and cleaning for time reasons. So we're certainly glad. So we're going to skip that part and not talk about the industry because it is great and it's going to get better with our merger with ISSA. What we are going to talk about today is, is cleaning technicians, cleaning companies, and ARCSI in the community. Uh, we're going to honor some folks. Uh, we're going to tell you about some programs where ARCSI members are involved in their community. It's more than just the cleaning technician coming to Mrs. Smith's house every other Tuesday. Uh, that cleaning technician and the owner of those companies are involved in their community. Their PTA moms and dads, their soccer moms are involved with the band, they're involved with their church, they're involved with food banks. They participate in every 5K walk for every imaginable charity out there. So members of ARCSI are involved in the community. And we want to honor some of those folks today and tell you about some of the programs that are going on. So, first of all, I'd like to call to the uh, stage Marlo Knight and Ashley Boyd of Deserve Comfort in Columbia, South Carolina, along with Mr. Chad Larson, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Perfect Clean, the sponsor of our Professional Cleaner of the Year Award. While they're coming up here, I want to tell you a little bit about Marlo. And, and you should know that for both of our President's Award and our Professional Cleaner of the Year, our awards committee receives a redacted copy of the application. They have no idea who the person is. They have no idea what company they work for. And they have a very tough job because, quite frankly, all of our nominees are very deserving of this award. And the committee has the very tough job of selecting one. Uh, and, it, and it is tough, but this year I'm happy to brag that both of our award winners were unanimous choices of our committee. Our 2016 Perfect Clean Professional Cleaner of the Year is Ms. Ashley Boyd of Deserve Comfort Cleaning in Columbia, South Carolina. Let me tell you a little about, about her application. Um, Ashley gets our home sparkling clean every single time. Ashley helps with our Cleaning for a Reason program is very caring and compassionate about the clients she works with. She is also active in a local Walk for Life, an annual event raising money for cancer. We also ask our nominee submissions to give us the five top personal reasons and characteristics why they're being nominated. And Marlo talked about Ashley and said she is dependable, she has a positive attitude, she's responsible, quality driven and loyal. I want to share a little bit of the nomination letter. Nine years ago, when Ashley came into our office for an interview, she was very impressive, especially for someone so young. Ashley was 22 years old at that time, a single mom of one, and because of my bad experience of hiring people that young, I was very cautious. But she convinced me that she would be dependable and would commit to providing quality cleaning, so I gave her an opportunity. And boy, am I glad I did that. Ashley immediately won over the hearts of her clients. Many of her same clients are still with us today, and I attribute that to Ashley, who cares about every job that she does and wants to do her best for the clients and for deserved comfort. Most of these clients would rather reschedule if Ashley has to be off instead of having a different technician. This past March, Ashley attended the HCT, House Cleaning Technician Certification Program. She listened intently, studied aggressively, took the exam, and passed with a high score. And she's very proud to be a certified house cleaning technician. And is very helpful in offering advice to her clients about maintaining and protecting the surfaces in their homes. Ashley cleans every day. When we have a new technician, she's the one who trains them. Ashley is a loyal, reliable, and professional technician. I really do not know what I would do without her. So, Chad, if you'd like to present the award. And again, we want to thank Perfect Clean, our sponsor of this year's Professional Cleaner of the Year.
Thank you. I, I forgot I was the one that was supposed to be clicking up here. There we go. Okay, the President's Award. If uh, join me on stage would be ARCSI President Jeff Lang. And from Town and Country Cleaning in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, Bruce and Sarah Vance, the owners, and our award winner, Christina Castro. And let me tell you a little bit about Christina. Uh, again, from her application, the most frequent comment and customer feedback is our estimator, Christina, is very professional. A little bit about this award. We, several years ago, we decided we had the professional cleaner, but every company has that key employee inside that's necessarily not out in the field cleaning that all of you and your businesses could not run without. And so we created the President's Award to honor those inside people, be they trainers, be they office managers, they are inside staff. Christina organizes food drives for Table, a local nonprofit uh, to feed hungry children. She volunteers at a local elementary school and she coordinates their cleaning for reason efforts. Her sudden departure would be as disastrous as the phones going down or the lights going off. Christina often puzzles together solutions to seemingly insurmountable logistical issues. Excellence in performance expires higher performance than others and she's gone well above our expectations and I have to tell you about the expectations. I'm going to share some of that letter. Christina began as a cleaning technician and was promoted to team leader in short order. She was one of the first technicians to become HCT certified and has also completed Tom and Jenna Stewart's modern cleaning course. When we lost our amazing office manager three years ago, we brought Christina in to help with dispatching and training. She quickly made herself invaluable and showed her leadership and abilities with the residential teams and their clients. This is the good part. Two days before Christmas last year, during a torrential rainstorm, one of our team leaders was hit at high speed by an SUV as a hydroplane. The vehicle did a 180, crossed the center line, and hit Misty's van, breaking both her ankles and her wrists. She was driving to pick up her teammate on the way to her first job. The owners of the company were on a plane headed to California. While the office manager was also traveling, all well out of the area of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, North Carolina. All three were unreachable for hours. Another team driver came upon the accident almost immediately after it happened and called the office. Christina went into immediate action, driving to the scene, which was about two or three miles from our office. She waited until the ambulance arrived to be sure Miss, Misty was safely loaded in for transport. Then she went back to the office gathered Misty's emergency information and began calling. Through mutual acquaintances, she contacted Misty's husband and father of her children. And another first for her, she also called the insurance company, giving them this such information as she could to get the proper paperwork completed. Not long after that endless day, she texted the owners and said, by the way, give me a call when possible. <laughs> uh, she demonstrated our company's values that day a cooperative team spirit, positive thinking, teachable integrity, and above all, compassion. She's never said, this is not in my job description. Like the winner she is, she simply did whatever needed to be done. Christina, congratulations. And Jeff, you'd like to present the award. Okay, at this time, I'd like to invite Kevin Ward and Yusef Betametglu to the stage, and Maria and Yusef's wife, I'm sorry. We got all of you, please come to the stage. As you know, last year at this event, Teresa Ward won the ISSA Innovation Award for an apron she developed. And we were all deeply saddened when two weeks later we found out Teresa suddenly passed away. There was no greater advocate for Teresa. Her legacy is her passion. Her passion for her family, her passion for her business, 
and her passion for this association. She was a past vice president and past board member. As I said the other night, when she came to this event, she was always reaching out to first timers and newcomers to see how she could help, not only at this convention, but how she could help with their business. But most importantly, Teresa had a passion for her community. Uh, she was well known in Long Island for the things she did and the charitable things she was involved with. So our board got together and we felt the best way to honor Teresa would be to create the Teresa Ward Community Service Award, which we did last year. And so this year we have our very first winner, and it's Made Bright from Sterling, Virginia. Yusuf and Maria are up here to receive that award and to present it, Kevin Ward. A year ago at this event, we started a program called Cleaning for Kids. Uh, the largest Ronald McDonald house in the country happens to be in Columbus, Ohio, where ARCSI is headquartered. And last fall, they contacted me, and they were cleaning 130 rooms with volunteers. And they said, geez, can your organization help us? And so Rosemary Stater of Elite Home Cleaning in Columbus and I went down and visited with them. And Rosemary and I walked away and we said, certainly we can do something here in Columbus, but more importantly, we have ARCSI members across the country and we can do things with them and take this program nationally. And we did that. Uh, and we have cleaning for kids programs all over the country right now. And then we want to recognize those folks who have been involved. If you're not familiar with Ronald McDonald Houses, they provide lodging for families whose children are undergoing treatment in children's hospitals around the country. There are 700 Ronald McDonald houses around the country. And he didn't know he was going to do this, but as you know, Jeff and his family were in an accident earlier this fall, and the Ronald McDonald house in Toledo came to their rescue. So ARCSI had a personal program, a personal experience with cleaning for kids. So. And it's gone great. And the great thing about it is, with our new merger with ISSA and the ISSA Foundation, we're going to make cleaning for kids even bigger. But we want to recognize those folks around the country who have been involved in cleaning for kids in the first year. In Columbus, it was Elite Home Cleaners and Real World Services. In Atlanta, which it really took off, thanks to our Vice President R.J. Patel and Caroline Rodriguez, uh, they are really going great guns in Atlanta with Brittany Maids, Clean Corp, House Cleaning on Wheels, I Maids, PCT, Rejoice Maids, Royal Maids of Atlanta, Simply Special Cleaning Service, Sponge and Sparkle, and Swept Away. And these folks are going in there and providing cleanings for those folks in Atlanta. Seattle, with the help of uh, our board member, April Lane, and her staff that really put this thing together in, in Seattle, uh, along with Adrian's Housekeeping, Alpine Specialty, April Lane's Cleaning, Queen Bee, Susan's Green Cleaning, I think Susan's here this week, and Tiani's Cleaning Service. So we've got it going in Seattle. The great thing about it, I have people calling me up. Uh, people like Aloha Maiden and Apello's In-N-Out Cleaning. April called me, says, I want to get involved in cleaning for kids. How can I do that? And I hooked her up with the Ronald McDonald House in Honolulu, so we got things going there. Down in Houston, Papillon Home Services and Julie Parrish and the Home Keepers contacted me. We said, geez, we can do that in Houston. We hooked them up. In Tulsa, Deborah, are you here, Deborah? Deborah with Made by Design said, we can do this in Houston. And she went out and got custom made and she got Made Pro to get involved with cleaning your kids. And that's kind of how it works. I kind of hook up a local ARCSI member and the volunteer coordinator at the local Ronald McDonald House and I get out of the way because they can do it much better than I can. So that's Cleaning for Kids. And it's been a great program. We want it to get greater. Oops. And you can get involved with Cleaning for Kids. And you're going to be hearing a lot more about it in the coming months, and particularly after our merger with ISSA. 
So that's one way ARCSI members are involved in the community. Another big way, obviously, is cleaning for a reason. Many of you were at the reception last night, and it's my pleasure to introduce Debbie Sardone, the founder and president of Cleaning for a Reason, to have, you, have her explain a little bit about how ARCSI members are involved with Cleaning for a Reason. Sorry Oops, excuse that. me. It's live, it's live. Alrighty. Can you guys hear me okay? All right. Ten years ago, Cleaning for Reasons started right here in Chicago, Illinois, and we inspired over 1,200 maid service over the last 10 years to join our program and commit to cleaning for women who are battling cancer right there in their own communities. Last night at our reception, we recognized uh, in our program the top 100 most cleaning companies for Cleaning for a Reason cancer patients in 2015. And then we recognized our top 10 cleaning companies. If you're in that top 10 group, would you raise your hand if you're in that top 10 group? And then, thank you, give them a hand. And our number one most benevolent cleaning service in the nation for 2015 was McMaid, the Langs. Very generous company serving women in their community. Would you give them a hand? The beauty of Cleaning for a Reason is it's made up of cleaning companies, big and small. And it is a big sacrifice for a small company to donate a couple of cleanings every single month. And then it's a big sacrifice when some of the larger companies can donate several cleanings every single month. When you give, it does cost you something, and that is the reality of giving, but you cannot outgive giving. It's good for your business, and it's so meaningful to your employees and your customers. Since the nonprofit started in 2006, we've served over 23,000 women who were battling cancer. They received the gift of free house cleaning. That totals more than $6 million in donated services from our hardworking cleaning companies. We hear stories all the time from cleaning business owners that say it's the most meaningful thing they've done. We hear from cancer patients, their family members, their spouses, who say, I cannot believe someone would do such a wonderful thing for me or my wife or my family. And that is when you just come in and you do such a simple, practical thing as cleaning someone's home. We heard from one of our cancer patients last night who said, just shampooing her hair was practically a half a day event after her surgery. And she said she could barely get through the shower. And she said cleaning her house was not gonna happen. And I heard from another patient several months ago, it hasn't even been a year, and what she shared with us is when she received her diagnosis of cancer, she had given up. She said, I am not gonna win this battle. It's, uh, she gave up before she ever tried. She had a cleaning for a reason cleaning. She walked into her clean home after a day of chemotherapy and radiation. And she said, I don't know what came over me, but all of a sudden I felt back in control of my life and I had this rush feeling that I just will beat this cancer. I am going to lick this cancer. And she said just coming into a clean home made her feel back in control of her life when it seemed like all control had been ripped right out of her hands with that diagnosis. When you clean, it may seem like a small thing, but to the person receiving that gift, knowing that the total stranger cared enough about them to come in and do the cleaning, not only does it make these women feel incredibly empowered and loved and cared for, it makes your, your employees feel like they're a part of something bigger than a paycheck and a job. We've had employees come in with tears in their eyes saying, I wanna be assigned to all of the Cleaning for a Reason patients. They love being a part of it. And we've had customers say, I chose that company because they're doing cleaning for a reason. It, it, it brings meaning to your life. It brings meaning to other people's lives. And I'm really proud of the fact that ARCSI is the reason that cleaning for a reason even exists. If 
ARCSI had not begun, this idea would never have emerged. It was getting around other cleaning business owners and being inspired by each other that gave me the idea to take a company policy and turn it into a nationwide nonprofit. It would not have happened if ARCSI never existed. You never know what will emerge from this group of cleaning companies that are giving back through Ronald McDonald, uh, through all of the other initiatives that many of you have locally, and through Cleaning for a Reason. We truly appreciate your support. If you want to support us, if you want to help us, check in with Lynn right here. She has some cards that she will provide for you. You can help us raise funds. We have a very simple program to do that through. And don't forget to vote. Two more days, that's all that's left. We will win $25,000 if the Cleaning for a Reason is selected on the L'Oreal Paris voting. Thank you, everybody, and thanks for all your hard work. I really appreciate it. Don't go away. Stand right there for a moment. Stand right there for a moment. Yes, sir. Nine years ago, or seven years ago, in 2009, when I took this job, um, one of the things I wanted to do was reach out to past board members to find out how we could make the association better, what we needed to do. And it made a little bit of sense to reach out to the first female president and owner of a very successful cleaning company in Louisville, Texas, somebody that put together the ARCSI boot camp to help new companies get started on the right track, somebody that had founded this organization called Cleaning for a Reason and was helping cancer patients out there. It's been my privilege to get to know Debbie Sardone very, very well since 2009. We speak frequently. I think she's an absolute genius marketer. I now have the privilege of saying I know someone that threw out the first pitch at a Yankees game. Uh, and on top of that, we, uh, we are both now grandparents, so we can swap photos all the time. So it was great, with great pleasure that I present the ARCSI Distinguished Service Award to Debbie Sardone, Buckets and Bows Maid Service, founder of Cleaning for a Reason, ARCSI past president, and the maid coach, for your continuing support and service to ARCSI and the residential cleaning industry. This is incredible. Thank you. I'm very touched. And I think I've accomplished my goal. I left Debbie Sardone speechless. <laughs> Again, all of you, thanks for what you do in your local communities. Uh, you know, if we're going to ever move the needle with the ISSA message of the value of clean, consumers are going to have to move that needle. We're going to have to make consumers aware of the value of clean. And the residential cleaning industry is the front line to make that happen because we're the folks that are out there with consumers every day. So keep up the great work. See you all tonight at our president's reception and have a great rest of the day.